One of the most interesting presentations for me, and I think for many uh, myeloma doctors and hematologists in general, was the uh, presentation given by uh, Dr. Demopoulos about the uh, Pollock study. And in the Pollock study, uh, there was a comparison of lenalidomide plus dexamethasone versus lenalidomide plus dexamethasone and daratumumab added to it. So what he showed was, in fact, that there was a increase in the response rate, an increase in the uh, complete response rate. And what was very striking was that the progression-free survival was much better in the uh, daratumumab Landex arm when compared to the Landex arm. So there was a hazard ratio of 0.37 in this study, and that is actually uh, very, very good and not seen in other triple combinations um, uh, such as carfilzomib Landex versus Landex or ELO Landex versus Landex or Ixazomib Landex versus Landex. This is, in fact, yeah, the best triple combination tested so far. So very durable uh, progression-free survival. And of course, with longer follow-up, we hope that this will also translate into an overall survival benefit. And the good thing that Dr. Demopoulos showed was that daratumumab, in fact, did not add substantial toxicity. The most important toxicity that we saw with daratumumab was that 50% of the patients experienced a infusion-related reaction almost always during infusion one, and infusion reactions are very rare thereafter. And we also know that these infusion reactions are easily to be managed by just stopping, waiting a while, half an hour, and then restarting the infusion, or giving some extra prednisone or antihistamines. So this triple combination was not only very active, it was well, to well tolerated. And uh, yeah, we are very happy with these results, which were, uh, and this study was performed, I forgot to mention, in the relapse refractory setting with prior with one to three prior therapies. And uh, we are now also enrolling patients in a Maya study in which we will test DARA plus Landex versus Landex in the upfront setting. So we hope and we expect similar uh, good looking results in uh, newly diagnosed patients as well. So I think that was one of the most important studies during this uh, conference. And at ESCO was already presented the, uh, the CASTO study by uh, Antonio Palumbo. And uh, in this study, uh, Velcadex was compared with uh, uh, daratumumab plus Velcadexamethasone. And also here, there was a very significant improvement in response rates, also deeper responses, higher rates of MRD negativity, and again, uh, uh, a very nice improvement in progression-free survival with a hazard ratio of 0.39 which is also unprecedented in this setting and uh, the overall survival data are not yet mature. And, of, and, and similar to the Pollock study, also here, daratumumab added to Velcade did not add significant other toxicity than what we know from Velcade dexamethasone alone, except for the infusion reactions that we experience in half of the patients during the first infusion.